everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Although the job's already done, I'm going to make this intro. We're going to see a video that's about two and a half minutes long of the construction of the shed today by Tough Shed. I would like to say two things. They showed up absolutely on time today when they were supposed to. There was no qualm about any, anything that they were going to do, how they were going to do it, anything of that nature. The guys were very professional, very nice, and you be the judge when you watch the video. And I will show you a couple of pictures inside and uh, as to what it looks like right now. And we'll talk about a couple of things. And this will be video 7 on the new ACT. So here we go. Okay, gang. This morning, nothing but the slab that you've already seen. And now, this is what we have. I'm not going to bother walking around it. The other side looks identical to this. There's no windows in the train room. I am advised by my lovely wife not to call it a shed, but rather to call it a train room. I would also like to add for you guys that... Um, when we decided to do this, when she came up with this idea and we decided to do this, uh, she informed me that this is my 70th birthday gift. And I think it's pretty spectacular. Um, I can't really put into words how much that I love her and how much we've enjoyed each other others company over the years that we've been married but anyways uh, this is my 70th birthday present and I have called uh, the the guys who poured the slab they're going to do the uh, they're in contact with the electrician the electrician is going to come and do his work we'll look at something here in a minute and then when he gets done doing his work they're going to come and do the insulation and sheetrock so let's take a look Okay, right here I'm in the shade, but you see the two black marks on the concrete there? Just on the inside of the metal there is the uh, conduit for the, the uh, electrical, which happens to be exactly right under the wall. So we'll let the electrician figure that out. That should be a no-brainer. No it's marked. I know how far in there it is. And uh, I'll take you inside. Okay, there's obviously no light in there, but uh, the original plan was to have the door open on the other side and have it open outward because our prevailing wind is from the west, which is that way. It'll come right through here. But anyway, they brought the uh, incorrect, they gave them to bring the incorrect door. Uh, but with it sitting up on the metal, which I didn't give any consideration to, I would have had to chop that eave on that the, the other shed here. Uh, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know what, even though the door swings in, when I go inside, I'll show you how much space there is there. I can put pictures and things on that wall, and nine times out of ten, this door is not going to be open because it has, it's heated and air-conditioned. So... Um, the door will normally be closed and I could always put a stop or something on it so that it doesn't open all the way if I put something behind the door. Anyway, it all worked out. I told the guys to put it in so it opens in. I told them, go ahead and use the door you got. They did a terrific job and let me take you inside. Okay, I think our camera and my eyes have gotten adjusted. But anyway, you can see that it's uh, kind of a cathedral ceiling. You can see how the sheetrock will be done there. Directly in the middle here we'll have the moonlight that we had in the other train room and then evenly spaced we'll have four LED strip lights here that will be the light for the entire shed. There'll be some electrical boxes around the outside. I have it all written down on a piece of paper. It's pretty boring right now. There's nothing, uh, nothing to say about it. But I'm going to stand all the way back, directly across from the door, and you can see how big this room actually is. 
sorry to whip you around there. Now, as far as the door goes, we can talk about that real quickly. In all reality, the door, even when somebody comes in, is probably never, never going to open any further than that. You can see even once the sheetrock is on there that I've got a good six or eight inches to the door opening up even at a 90. So there could be shelves behind there. I could put the trophy shelves behind there. I could put, I could put just about anything behind there. So really I'm not losing any space at all. Uh, it's hot in here. Tonight I may come out and do some... T someone had mentioned taping on the floor. Uh, that's kind of what I had planned on doing in the first place, but I appreciate that thought. I'm going to come out here and sweep this up. They offered to do it, and I said, no, nah, you guys you guys have been standing out in a 102 degree temperature. When it cools off tonight, I'll bring a push broom in here and I'll sweep this out. I mean, they really wanted to do everything. They wanted to put all, all the rocks that had gotten kicked in the grass back, everything. I mean, they were just absolutely fantastic guys. Uh, you can see that I opted to pay for the... the uh, the uh, vapor barrier. Um, so this should be a pretty tidy room for what we're going to do in here whenever we get that far. But anyways, uh, I'm not going to do anything as far as the uh, show you the taping on the floor or anything today because that, that can remain for another video. Um, and I will wait until the electricity and the sheet rocking is done before I come in here again because I'm standing in here and it's probably 120 in here right now. But this is the train room. The mini split will go on that, uh, the back wall right up there is where I have a plan for it. Um, I'm pretty sure they can put it there. Um, as I said, ooh, wow, it really gets dark. Anyway, that wasn't what I intended for you to see because you can't really see anything. But I was going to show you with the door closed and then I realized there's no light in here. What a dope, right? Anyway, with the door even partially closed, and I move all the way to the other side, this is all the way against the other wall, you can see that we have a good amount of room in here to build a train room and I'm planning on having a comfort, comfy chair for me, right over there, just on the inside of where the door is, I'll have a couple more chairs. I've got a couple folding chairs that go in here. Other people will be able to sit down, but when I'm out here watching my trains go and working in here and stuff, I'm going to have a, and it's going to be, if I'm hoping, an older antique leather style uh, cigar chair. I don't know if you know what they what I'm referring to, but anyway, that's what I'm hoping for. I just want a train room that I can come out here, I can look at my stuff, I can run my train, um, I can listen to uh, music on the Google, um, I can do all the things that I, I like to do, and Robin has said that this is my building, my man cave, my shed. Uh, now, I, that's wrong. This is my train room, and um, I can do what I would like to do. So, that being said, here we are, and this is all I'm going to bore you with in here. Now we're going to take a look at the time lapse I did today, and I was pretty successful at it. Um, I think I wound up with about two and a half minutes, and then I'll say goodbye.
Well, okay, gang, uh, that's the end of video number seven, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And as usual, what do we say? Thanks for watching.